So today I want to talk about a new feature that we have in our platform, and that is a rooms and equipment. You find that under calendar settings, and the calendar settings uh, can be accessed uh, in one of two ways. Either you can go to calendars and then calendar settings, or what you can also do is you can go to settings and then choose the calendars in the settings, and that will allow you to do this. Rooms and equipment are associated with service calendars, so let's go here and filter for service calendars. And what we have is we have uh, three services at the moment, and there is uh, massages that are performed by John. They're 60 minutes long. There's hydrofacials that are performed by Jane and by John. Jane and John are at the office at different times, so there is a restriction where we can perform a number of services that has to do with when these employees are available. But there's also another restriction, and that is we have a massage room, and there is one massage room, and we have a room for hydrofacials and micropigmentation, and this has a total capacity of two because in the hydrofacial room, there is three chairs. Now, why does it have a total capacity of two? because we have three chairs, but currently one is out of service. And so what this allows us to do is place restrictions on services that rely on rooms, patients, and rely on equipment that is available. And that could be also work areas, salon chairs, pedicure stations, etc. So it lets us combine rooms, equipment, and service times and whenever somebody books it takes into account what is available in addition to that with regards to equipment we know we have three but there is one out of service and so I can always take this out of or take this out uh, or put it back in when and the chair is prepared now how do you create these there is first of course you can just go to rooms and you create a room here and you create a capacity in that room and then you select the calendar that goes there and let's say i'm just taking jane in there and now what i have is i have a test room where jane can perform a hydrofacial i have a massage room where john can perform a hydrofacial or a massage and i have a hydra and micropigmentation room where Jane and John both can do hydrofacials. Now, when I look at equipment, I only got one massage table and I got three hydrofacial chairs, and those chairs could be moved into the test room. With equipment, it's the same thing. You just create it by adding it here, and then you select the calendars where it goes through. So there's a second way how you can associate these, and that is when you go to your service calendar, and let's go to the massage John calendar here. You see here we now have your room and equipment that lets us associate the room with the service calendar and it lets us associate the equipment with the service calendar. So that is it. That's how you set this up and it's fairly easy to set up. It may be a little harder to grasp how the combination of room and equipment is, but that's exactly why we have it because it then allows you to actually share the service calendar and the service calendar for Jane will then take into account what equipment is available for that time because John may have booked a client into that equipment.